Hey, Denny here. Hey, welcome to my vlog. This is Project Stank. Well, the wife took the 97 out. Took the 97 out. 96. 96 out for its first ride. And uh, remember in that last video, I heard that pulley making noise. Well, she's about six miles from here. She has no steering. She has steering, but it's hard. And the uh, engine temp gauge is running high. Well, it's kind of telling me that the uh, that pulley may have seized and the serpentine belt broke. So we'll see. Hey Dana here. Now um, I just I just went and checked her out and just as I thought the um, what happened is she turned the AC, AC on when, well, she turned the AC on, she turned the defroster on. And the defrost is connected to the compressor. Well, as you saw in the last video, the compressor was locked up. So she put that on and it locked up the pulley, which caused the belt to break. So, uh, I just happen to have a spare belt, and that's what I'm doing right now, is uh, I'm getting my act together. I need to get that big arm for my big, big long. Pulley kit. i sure that's the right one. And gotta change Need a light. Right there. Yeah, because you got the I got the longer. So what I gotta do is here the here's the tensioning. That's the tensioning pulley right there. So I got to get a uh, socket or um, the adapter this thing and uh, get it on there. And then next thing is hoping that yeah, there we go. Okay. That nut head was smaller on the 95 and I managed to just put the socket kit back in the drawer when I should have taken it with me. So I had to make another run to come back and get it. So only a mile and a half away. Hopefully that pulley is not completely frozen even with the compressor off. Now the thing is The thing is, without that serpentine belt, you've got no water pump, and you've got no alternator, and you don't have power steering. So without that serpentine belt running, you're 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 basically dead in the water. I gotta go back in the hospital because I'm, I'm. Yeah, I know you're. Eight up. Um, this goes inside, right? Was in different places. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll take it with me. Oh, well, all right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> not your fault. Well. I should have put. I should have pulled the override on that thing, so it wouldn't. Have, it wouldn't have kicked in. Well. But at least we know the, what we got. So. I, I, I'm sorry. That's all right. Ain't got nothing to do. You. Thank you. Uh huh. Love you. Love you. That said, I'm not sure if you can bypass that pulley. With a smaller, with a smaller belt, um, it just happened. I was 
we have three stangs, and I had the original um, belt off of the uh, off the old, off of the ninety five because that lost its motor. So um, here's the here's the original one, and that snap snapped carry on on this. There's a this is the ninety five. So uh, unfortunately, the history behind this is the um, frame is rotted out on it. One, and that's got a that's got a uh, dryer on it, but unfortunately, the dryer is shot because it's been compromised when this was taken apart. But here's the other here's the other compressor. And I'll probably yank this one off, stick it on hers till we get a new one. See, there's your, there's your pulley. And it sounds really good. So, and when I pull the other one, you'll understand what happened. The things in there seized. And this is actually a good compressor. So, um, there's no reason we can't uh, probably use it again, but maybe not because I think that that's a tattletale telling it well overpressurized but anyway here we go anyway thanks for watching don't forget to comment and you'll catch me on the next project stang